This is Grimbridge Place uh, in Kent, near four miles west of Tunbridge Wells on the Kent-Sussex border. And Grimbridge Place, uh, moated manor house, 17th century moated manor house, and it's filling the part of the Bennett family house. It's got a wonderful history. It goes back, the site goes back to the 13th century uh, when there was a house uh, inside the moat there. Uh, the 17th century, John Packer came along and, and demolished that house and built uh, the present structure here. But it is a, it's a national monument and the house is grade one listed. But in terms of the filming, it's, it's ideal for the film because the shape and the design of the house really remained unchanged for 300 years. And so it's, it's perfect for the, for the timing. Uh, with with Longbourn, we really wanted a house that we could move through all the rooms, that we could to give the uh, the film a, a, a sense of reality. Um, I wanted to be able to shoot through the windows. I wanted a relationship between the exterior and the interior. In terms of preparing the house really for for the film set and creating the film set, I mean the kitchen, the arga, for example, has been removed and lovely old fireplaces uh, put in there. This was the original kitchen, but obviously it was kind of full of like shaker appliances and you know lovely kind of cream painted walls. So we were allowed to paint all of this, and that whole wall there is built. That dresser is in fact original to the house. We couldn't remove it because it's plastered in, and we laid a flagstone floor. It had kind of terracotta tiles and things in here. One of the big disadvantages of working in a house like this is that working in small rooms is a nightmare, getting in and out. A film crew occupies a lot of space. You can't get the size and scale you can in a studio where you can simply fly a wall or whatever. The problems with it were that it was um, basically brown panelled throughout, a mixture of kind of, you know, Tudor, um, through to Edwardian, but none of it was right for us. So all the rooms are actually six inches bigger than we, what we actually see here. Um, because all the panelling that you see is built inside a house, which is mad, but anyway, I think it works. Grimbridge also had some nice other things about it, like the, like the fact that it's got a moat around it, and I really like the idea of the five virgins living on an island. <laughs> Joe brought us all down on a day when everything was immaculate, there was no equipment, everything was dressed. And we just got to sort of be and explore and play and it really is, in, it was enchanting, really enchanting. Good hiding place. We were allowed to do exactly what we wanted and shout and scream and anything. It just worked, it, we just gelled completely um, in a way that I don't, I, none of us could have imagined. <laughs> I think this is truly somewhere where the Bennets could have lived. The Reverend uh, John Saint, who lived here in the late sort of 18th century, had daughters, uh, had uh, uh, one of his daughters called Anne Avis, and she recorded uh, some graffiti on one of the windows in the house in 1765, which was, if this you see, you remember me. And, and so it goes on, and you have this picture of, of, of girls in the house being protected, uh, not only by the structure, but the moat and the surrounding countryside waiting for the Mr. Darcy character to come along and, and whisk them away to another glorious kingdom. I was always trying to find a balance between creating something that was kind of fairy tale, um, uh, but also very real. And, and it held that balance, I think, Grimbridge. <laughs>